Mo Norman was my friend. In 1987, I discovered an improved grip for playing golf. It has been labeled the single axis grip. The grip is taken in the lifeline of the trailing hand and forms a single axis with the bottom of the forearm. News articles stated, success isn't just stroke of luck, and right way golf was a revolutionary idea. The system was originally marketed by Amway as right way golf. Later, I changed to a different marketing strategy and started the company known as Natural Golf. From 1987 to 1990, single axis golf began to make sense to a lot of frustrated traditional golfers. In 1990, I was explaining the science of the golf swing to a small group of people in California. Mark Evershed, a Canadian golf professional and a very close friend of a Canadian golfer named Mo Norman, was in attendance. When I finished, Mark said, you're describing the mechanics of Mo Norman. I responded with, what's a Mo Norman? Mark sent me a video made by a Canadian TV station in 1988. As soon as I saw Mo's swing, I knew scientifically that I was watching the simplest and most effective golf mechanics of any golfer to have ever played the game. I now had proof that single axis mechanics were superior to traditional mechanics. From this video, it was clear to me that Mo could not be an effective spokesperson due to his shyness. However, when I approached PGA teachers about my concept, their general attitude was one of condescension. Most would make a statement like, I don't like you and I don't like what you're pushing. After one such experience, I responded to this PGA teacher with, but I can teach you to hit a golf ball like Mo Norman. He immediately responded with, oh, show me what you're doing again. I realized I didn't need Mo to be a spokesperson. I just needed the use of his name. As Lee Trevino has said in the video, he's a legend with teaching professionals who know Mo as the Canadian guy who hits it so damn good. This was the start of a two-year adventure into setting up a first meeting with Mo. This is the end of the first segment. The next segment will cover my first meeting with Mo in December of 1992.